Good morning, everyone. Your Excellency Ambassador, Mr. Luo Chao Yu, Madam Ambassador, Dr. Jiang Yili, who is uh, a scholar in her own right, an Indologist, and a student of a premier Indian university, Delhi University. I also welcome their daughter, who is in our midst, Sri Sumit Malikji, Vice Chancellor, and our very dear friend and collaborator, Dr. Sanjay Deshmukhji, Madhav Bhandari ji, the Mayor of Sholapur, Sushila ji, and uh, a member of Dr. Kotnis's family, Sri Borkar, and a very dear friend, partner, partner in many good initiatives, including in establishing this center, the Consul General, Mr. Zheng Xuan, and Madam Consul General. It gives me great pleasure in welcoming you all friends on behalf of the Observer Research Foundation. For us, it's, a, it's an expectation come true. We had been uh, hoping and expecting to welcome China's ambassador to our center. The ambassador changed and we had a new ambassador and we were constantly asking the Consul General, when are we having the new ambassador to come to Mumbai and visit our center? And that day has come today and we extend our very, very warm welcome to you, Your Excellency. <clears throat> Yesterday, His Excellency visited the Office of the Observer Research Foundation and we had uh, a very friendly conversation. I thank you for that. And in the course of the conversation, you said that India is your second home. So, welcome to your second home and uh, we are confident that in your tenure as Ambassador India-China Relations, will grow stronger and achieve, move towards achieving their full potential. You know, my colleague uh, Dhawal Desai, in his introductory remarks, quoting Professor Jiang Jingkui, said that India, China are pass pass. Pass pass in Hindi is, we are close. We are neighbors, close to each other, pass pass. But just remaining pass pass is not enough. That is a geographical, uh, creation, that we are pass pass, but we have to be saat saat. Saat saat means we are together in partnership and solidarity. <laughs> Actually, friends, these are not my words. These are the words of our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi in his speech at the Kathmandu summit of SARC. He, addressing the Sark community, the South Asian community, said, all of us are pass pass, but we have to become sat sat. And that applies also to India-China relations, because China is also part of South Asia. It's our, we have the largest, longest neighbor border with China. And as was mentioned by Honorable Vice Chancellor, we have a civilizational kinship. We are civilizational neighbors. We are, not just, we are not just geographical neighbors. And therefore, we have to bring the entire reservoir of our civilizational wisdom to guide our bilateral relationship and also our partnership to shape the world in the 21st century. Friends, one, great, one of the many great qualities of China is that China never forgets friends, who stood by China in times of need, in times of uh, trial, and who built bridges of friendship and solidarity. And one such great friend of China, Indian friend of China, was Dr. Kotnis. And it is amazing that whenever a Chinese president or prime minister visits India, visits Mumbai, they always make it a point to meet, 
members of Dr. Courtney's family. It has always happened. And today, therefore, I think we are paying once again tribute to this great humanitarian envoy of India to China, Dr. Dwarka Nath Courtney's. And the fact that we are doing it in the University of Mumbai is even more special, friends, because Dr. Dwarka Nath Courtney's was an alumnus of the University of Mumbai. So, this great university is honoring one of its great alumni. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. I have uh, one special request and a suggestion to make to the Honorable Vice Chancellor. This center, which is going to be, as you very rightly mentioned, this is going to be a great school of Chinese studies named after Dr. Jishan Lin. It is located in the center, Rajiv Gandhi Center for Contemporary Studies. And it's not accidental that it is in the building that bears the name of Rajiv Gandhi, because our young former prime minister, 1988, his visit to China was truly a turning point in India-China China relations. And therefore, in this building, we have a new auditorium coming up, just adjoining this center. And my request and suggestion to the Honorable Vice Chancellor is to name this auditorium after one of its own distinguished alumni, Dr. Dwarkanath Kotnis. May it be called Dr. Dwarkanath Kotnis Auditorium. <laughs> the Observer Research Foundation is willing you know, our, our association with this center, the school, is not only in establishing this physical infrastructure, we are going to work closely with the university in making it one of the best schools of Chinese studies in the world. We already have a Confucius Institute here. We are very grateful to the government of China for extending its support to the Confucius Institute. We would like the Confucius Institute to become one of the best Confucius Institutes in the world, located in the University of Mumbai. Your Excellency, yesterday in our conversation, we discussed how under the One Belt, One Road, grand, ambitious, super ambitious initiative, India and China should cooperate not only in economic terms, not only in building great 21st century infrastructure, physical infrastructure, but also in strengthening the educational infrastructure between India and China. So in higher education, in university education, let India and China participate, collaborate in learning from each other and in benefiting from each other. And therefore, in times to come, it is our dream, it is my dream, and it is the dream of this center that the number of Indian students studying in China, the number of Chinese students studying in India should be proportional to our population. <coughs> Which means the largest number of foreign students studying in China should be Indian students and almost the same number of Chinese students, Chinese scholars should be coming here. That is the vision that we should work towards. Today we are at a very, very low level. We have a responsibility to take our relationship to its fullest potential in every sphere of collaboration, be it economy, be it trade, be it investment, be it culture, be it education. We have to change the minds of the new generation. And the new generation, the young generation should benefit from the wisdom of the past. We have a responsibility, friends, to be worthy of the great ambassadors of India and China, beginning with Kumara Jiva, beginning with Yuan Sang, Professor Tan Shun Yan, who was the director of the China Bhavan established by Rabindranath Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore himself, Ji Xian Lin. These are the great people who strove for India-China partnership at a time when it was so difficult even to travel to each other. Now we have every means possible. We are living in a world when we can come together in ways that were unimaginable in the past. And therefore, 
we should be worthy of our invest in ancestors let's create a strong india china partnership that will change the face of south asia as a whole as dr sanjay deshmukh ji was mentioning the entire south asia should become a zone of peace of cooperation and here i would very particularly mention friends india pakistan relationship this has to be changed and the observer research foundation has been making strenuous continuous efforts to build better relations between india and china india china india pakistan all relation all the countries in south asia let's change the history of south asia if we change the history of south asia we'll change the history of asia if we change the history of asia we change the history of the world this is a very small beginning thank you for giving us this opportunity please keep coming and i would like to on, on this occasion take the opportunity of inviting madam ambassador as i said you are a scholar in your own right you have uh, done a very major comparative study between buddhism and hinduism we extend you an invitation to come and give a talk on this subject as was mentioned you know we have a great center for buddhist studies at somaya vidya vihar headed by dr supriya rai we welcome you we welcome all the great scholars from our friendly fraternal nation china thank you very much shishya